The Post is a great newspaper, well written, good story, well researched, mature journalism, balanced journalism. So when I don't hear Christopher and we don't talk, it is not a secret. We don't always know. Said the Post newspaper, na an Ambazonia propaganda outlet, to the extent where the Ambazonia terrorists, they go talk and publicly for Facebook, said they support the Post newspaper. Why they go support the Post newspaper? And then they talk to many people, they unsubscribe from the Guardian Post daily. It be clear. Now, because the Post newspaper, they provide aid and comfort to Ambazonia terrorists. They don't always do them. They write unsubstantiated um, news stories them that they write trash basically they've been an anti-government propaganda network and not been a proper news now which that way the post newspaper it don't always be when i listen to the amber terrorism that so they talk their so-called communications guy they can't confirm them for now so the news where it come out today the 12th of september 2023 say it is so the governor it don't ban so please again i am appealing to all of you on the ground Never you waste your uh, 400 francs, 400 francs for the Guardian Post. I can recommend good papers for you on the ground. The Post is a great newspaper, well written, good story, well researched, mature journalism, balanced journalism. And the other one that is run by uh, Randy Joe, what is the name? Uh, what is the name of the paper, the newspaper uh, that is uh, run by Randy Joe? That is a great newspaper, ladies and gentlemen. That is a great. These are the two that I can remember. Maybe uh, the horizon. The horizon is trying, trying a little bit, but not there yet. But you want to talk about papers that report stories as they are on face value. The uh, post. The Post, the Post newspaper, and the other story, the, the name is going off my mind. The newspaper that is uh, managed by Randy Joe, uh, the name goes off my mind. Those are the two newspapers I will recommend for anybody on the ground to read and to an extent the horizon. Those are newspapers that you can depend on. Those are newspapers that can stand international scrutiny, not a trashy. Fagless guide uh, uh, the Guardian the Guardian Post. Please, if you have subscribed to the Guardian Post, desubscribe, desubscribe. They are ripping you and selling you, bothering all of us in trying to to keep it over without a public to come around. Sorry, say as I be record the audio, a call come into my phone. So as I be talk. We want to congratulate the governor of the Southwest region where he don't take this good decision. We don't do your job for ban the Post newspaper. But we talk say that will not be enough. We need to arrest those people then. Maybe they can justify the nonsense where they don't the right time for that newspaper all along. Some people they don't come for it, they talk trash about freedom of speech. Just because you get freedom of speech, no means you don't get a responsibility for right way to way, no will cause incitement to terrorism or coup d'etat. May the car explain for we the scientific poll where they carry them and who said they carry them and now who they ask the questions. Say they go find out, say 66% they talk about coup d'etat. Nonsense. So it'd be very fantastic this news where we get them. Say they post it be banned till further notice, but I want me to ban them indefinitely and then arrest the people the way they usually write that trash. I mean, this newspaper, they be being an open amber terrorist network propaganda network for amber terrorism it was not hidden it was so glaring and obvious to the extent where the chris Anu, their communications guy for amber terrorists they kind of talk and publicly for facebook say they so now the only newspaper that way they write in favor of ambazonia it took him publicly say me no man no uh, 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 read the guardian post daily send me the desubscribe yeah it's a desubscribe but the english way me i know now unsubscribe send me the me the unsubscribe from uh, uh, the, in, from the Guardian Post because the Guardian Post not ever write anything positive about Amazonia but may they go subscribe now to the Post because now the Post they write positively about them so it has always been known so I don't even know why it takes this long for the governor of the Southwest for ban this newspaper as a matter of fact I will draw them my congratulations now your job you were supposed to do that a long time ago now 
follow through and ban Okada them inside city center for Boya. Because now one way that way we will reduce this Ambazonia terrorist nonsense. They will use now Okada for kind of work plant primitive bombs them. For kind of talks they do lockdown and all of that nonsense. We we'll continue for the mass fire. Thank you plenty my country people them. Sorry, you can tell exactly who this Guardian Post newspaper is serving. Ladies and gentlemen, you can tell exactly who they are serving and who their paymaster is. Their paymaster is the Republic do Cameroon. Look at the two look at the two uh, papers. Look at the two papers, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the two papers and see the difference. SDO accuses MBME Fund of aiding, protecting amber fighters. That is a pro-government headline. Now, they blew that one up for as long as it is against Amazonia. The second title, 32 amber fighters surrender in Indian. That is again a pro-government headline to show how the government is fighting to disarm amber. Nothing good in this newspaper about Ambazonia. All they do is report the government line, the government story, to show the to, to let the world know that the government, the government is winning. The government is really trying. The government is really fighting. Amba is dying down. Amba is going out. Amba is evil. Amba is uh, they are terrorists. That is the narrative you can get from the Guardian Post. 